Well, hi, Signe. It's been quite a while since uh, you gave us such great ideas and I've been putting them to work. And so I wanted to give you a quick tour. This is like the third time I've tried to do this. So here's what we've done is uh, really sculpt this front yard, even move the mailbox from the other side of the street, which is uh, makes our life a lot safer. You can hear the cars going by. So I've made a series of paths through the front yard. And uh, I know how you feel about rock gardens, but I'm giving it a try. And I uh, have planted a number of things here, some of which you suggested. And for the most part, doing well. This is the uh, rock pile that was left over from the old wall that has since been replaced with this beautiful new wall. When they piled the rocks here, I said, okay, what do I do with them? I decided to just leave them and do some interesting little plantings in it. I kind of like it. It does take some work to get the weeds out. Anyway, I've uh, been busy painting furniture to be a little bit more Caribbean style and uh, putting some ferns and flowers under this puppy here, who's really going to town. Some ferns I got from across the street. And then I walk along this cool little path along the wall. Here's our front now. Uh, a simple bamboo privacy screen and lots of clumping bamboo, which I'm loving the way it sways as if we're in Polynesia. A friend of mine gave me a couple of true uh, big bamboos that I'm keeping carefully in pots. So uh, I did widen the garden along the rock wall there, as you had suggested. Looks like I could get in there with some more weeding. I keep adding some plants. Um, one thing I was curious, I, I think I'd like to put a tree over there in that rock pile somehow, you know, to do some more blockage of the traffic. So maybe you have an idea. Maybe it's a cherry. They're so beautiful. All right, so continuing on. I love this uh, sculpture I got from the bamboo guy. Going for a equatorial sort of mode here. Boy, these guys are doing really well. Okay, so now this is our interior secret garden, I call it. Another uh, series of basically a loop path. A look around here. I have fun with a lot of little colorful things when I can. And then here's our Japanese maple doing really well. Had a little problem with one branch died out, but uh, it doesn't seem to be a problem. Of course, the cats still love this grass. They jump in it and pretend they're lions. And take the path around this way toward yet another little sitting area, which is fun. Oh, by the way, I'm, I put down these little glow rocks. Most all of them are turquoise, but I put some colorful ones for this step. At night, I come out here and uh, I don't want to trip. So, oh, there they are. That's the colorful ones. I'll be careful not to make it look like a bubblegum factory. All right, and then I think you'll get a kick out of this. We have a Laotian spirit house that I got from Laos, and it's designed to uh, provide a space for spirits, good and bad, to have a place to come when they visit your house and not come in your house. The important thing was, according to 
tradition is you have to face it in such a way that it does not face a street or a toilet. So we had a little ceremony and there she is. So that's kind of fun. You always liked our rustic little woodshed, but suggested door. So that's what I did. It's a cool rolling door. And inside I've got, uh, I definitely have more room. Been clearing it out. But anyway, we've seen our Japanese pagoda tree come back from a root after the original one fell down. So we're letting it go. So far, so good. So there you have it. This is the Dillon and Jeff's secret garden. Um, really enjoying being in this space. I sit out here a lot. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, once again say thanks for all your help over the past few years. And uh, I hope that uh, your teaching is going well in this COVID time. And uh, I know you're a great teacher, so I'm sure your students are loving it. All right, signing off, yeah. signing off from Scenic Drive. Yeah, school's back in session. <laughs>